Hello everyone and welcome back to Very Cold Lasagna. And well, the undisputed WWE Universal title news wasn't the only news that we got in the world of sports. Earlier that day on Monday, well, we got some big news in the world of the NFL prior to um, this upcoming NFL draft. And that news, well, regards the, the Green Bay Packers and the New York Jets. Because, well, it was a deal um, kind of a long time coming. Aaron Rodgers of the Packers is now going to be a New York Jet. Who no one's surprised. <laughs> so after making his intentions felt that he wants to play for the Jets back in, in March, yeah, it's been an official after some uh, long, um, uh, long talks regarding compensation, what they're going to get, what each team's going to get in return. Um, it was, it nearly stalled out. It nearly flamed out, but both teams got it done just before the draft. And it is official, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Rodgers is going gang green and Green Bay is moving on. So before we get dive into some of my thoughts on both of these teams going forward, let's take a look at some of the, the trade compensation that both teams are getting heading into Thursday's draft. So what the Jets are getting um, in this deal, well, obviously, they're getting the big boy, Aaron Rodgers. They're also, both teams are basically pick swapping in um, this year's draft. Um, they're getting the 15th overall pick, um, so they're trading the 13th uh, pick to Green Bay, and they're getting a fifth round pick in this year's draft. What the Packers are getting in return is that 13th pick owned by the Jets and a 2023 second round pick, which is this year, <laughs> this Thursday, and a six-round pick. So basically, a lot of what Green Bay is getting is going to be in this year's draft. And a conditional 2024 second-round pick that can become a first-round pick if Rodgers plays more than half the, the the plays this year. So basically, a good chunk of, of the games. So basically, yeah, Aaron Rodgers' time in Green Bay is over. I mean, the, the pack... Certainly, at least some fans enjoyed his time, but I know like towards the tail end of his time, some people have grown weary of him, um, especially um, with considering that, you know, he was known to be a little, a little distasteful and toxic around the locker room. But um, I will say, you know, at least he brought you, he got you a Super Bowl, um, but, and he did win some MVPs. But at the end of the day, you know, um, that only takes you so far. You, he, he's led the team to a couple of NFC Championship games, but never really got back to that point of, of the Super Bowl outside of you know that 2010 season where they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers and held up that World Heavyweight Championship. Sorry, <laughs> gotta release that uh, anger out after Monday Night Raw. But anyway, yeah, for the Packers, you know. They at least got um, some really good years out of Aaron Rodgers. Um, and unfortunately, yeah, that 2022 season was really like the end game. Like the really the disappointing end of, of, of that like golden era for the Green Bay, like for Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Um, and that relationship like really evap like evaporated. So now they get to figure out what they have in uh, uh, in Jordan Love, finally. <laughs> After three years of sitting on the sidelines, three years of like Aaron Rodgers getting ca caught off guard um, in that 2020 draft. Like, why the hell did you draft him? And yeah, we're about to see what Jordan Love has to offer. Like, let's see what three years of s learning from Aaron Rodgers, um, like good things. He did start a couple, of, like one or two games for him because Rogers was out with COVID, and yeah, let's see if this one season coming up will be enough for Jordan Love to earn another another contract. Because keep in mind, the Packers did not pick up his uh, fifth year option, so they have actually till next week to do so. But I would, I would, I would be wise enough to not pick that up yet until. Um, he can prove that he'll be worth a damn to do so. And if he's not, then, you know, if the, the Packers are that bad um, in this year, hey, they'll, they'll at least be, they'll at least be uh, bad enough to pick 
uh, for a quarterback in next year's draft. And maybe that should be the plan for them. Now, as for their game plan, as for their game plan for this draft, now it kind of still remains the same. Their number one um, biggest need should be receiver. They still need a receiver for, um, to go alongside Christian Watson and an option for Jordan Love. So at least now you get the monkey off, uh, back off of Aaron Rodgers uh, from away from Aaron Rodgers. Now you can fully shift on helping out Jordan Love. So for the Packers, it's a new era. And I know um, fans in Green Bay are like, oh, man, the the era, the golden era is over. Title Town will now become irrelevant. Well, we'll see. Um, just wait and see what Jordan Love has to offer. If he's not the guy, then go find the next one until it works. But as for the Jets, you know, let's see how this pans out. It, it really. Let's really see how this pans out because uh, all I can say is Aaron Rodgers really following the footstep as his protege, the daddy that taught him well in his own three years, in his final three years with the Green Bay Packers. Brett Favre, ladies and gentlemen, when he left the Packers to go play for the New York Jets um, in that brief one year. So, you know, all I can say for Aaron Rodgers is like, hope that... um, Becoming a Jet will do you well. Hopefully, he you can lead the, the New York Jets to the promised land. Hopefully, for the Jets, this trade will be worth it for you. And if it's not, it's going to be looking really stupid for you. Um, especially considering that, well, you trade um, a, a good amount to go and get Aaron Rodgers, and you still have Zach Wilson on your roster. Speaking of Zach Wilson, what are you going to do with him? Um, are you going to keep him around, have him me- be mentored behind Aaron Rodgers? And if you are going to have him men- be mentored by Aaron Rodgers, what exactly is, is Rodgers going to teach him? How to be a toxic asshole in the locker room? <laughs> like, really? How to how to be a baby? Anyway. Uh, yeah, what are you going to do with Zach Wilson um, now that Aaron Rodgers is there? I mean, it could be worth keeping him around. Um, just in case um, Aaron Rodgers retires in a couple of years um, because, you know, Aaron Rodgers is not getting any younger depending on how many years he wants to play. Um, but if you don't want to keep him around, trade, possible option, or release? I don't know. What do you do with Zach Wilson? Either way, now, now that you have Aaron Rodgers, for, uh, if you're the Jets, now um, you, have, you obviously have to help him. Maybe beefing up the offensive line, uh, getting another receiver with him to go alongside Garrett Wilson. You did lose Braxton Berrios at another option, but you know he was expendable anyway. For the Jets, the game plan now, you, now that you have much fewer picks in the draft, you want to use that 15th overall pick wisely. You want to address your best possible need, the best, your biggest pressing need that you really have to make to, I'd say, helping out Aaron Rodgers. That's the number one thing you have to do going into this draft this coming Thursday. So overall, I mean, the the trade conversation for both teams, I'd I, I say it's fair, I guess. I mean, I thought it was going to be earth-shattering for the Packers. But considering where Rodgers is at this point of his career, I mean, I'm just glad the Jets didn't give up a whole lot. <laughs> because if they gave up that much, like, holy shit, dude, what, what the hell are you doing? But anyway, I'd like to know your thoughts on Aaron Rodgers officially, officially becoming a New York Jet. I'm just glad it's finally all said and done with. All these, like, people like, oh, when is it going to happen? Or is it the, the deal going to finally, is, is it going to flame out? I'm, I'm just glad it's over with. <laughs> we can just move on to bigger and better things. Oh, Trey Lance got traded. No, shut up. Shut up. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on Aaron Rodgers getting traded officially to the New York Jets. Him going gangrene in New York. So let me know your thoughts on that. But until then, this is Dylan Lasagna signing out a very cold lasagna. And keep that lasagna very cold in the fridge with your takes on the world of sports. And until next time, peace out.